What's going on, guys? This is Chandler Smith yes. and the one and only Yogi Myers. Oh, wow. And, <laughs> and today we have the opportunity to interview the one, the only, Brandon Turner. However, for this video, I'm gonna turn it over to Garrett for a fire round where he uh, is gonna ask some interesting questions. So with all of that being said, let's jump into it. So you've got David Green. Seems like he's your right hand guy. My uh, my yeah. right hand guy in everything I've done with sales, with real estate. Um, he's been my best friend since high school. His name is Garrett Myers. He goes by Yogi. I don't know if you've seen him on my channel, but I I'm really sure, wanted yeah. to have a chance to introduce you to him and have him it. do a little fire round. He's hilarious. I'm not, Great. but uh, we have a little <laughs> fire round of questions for you. Are you open to it? I love it. I love it. Yeah. Fire round is my favorite thing. Okay. Well, we're going to pull him in. You're ready? I'm ready. All right. <laughs> so this it. is Yogi. He, uh, he's the reason I can retain sales reps because he's the best human I know. But there we go. Brandon, What's up, Yogi? It's good to meet you. <laughs> Hello. I've heard one it side is good of this to meet conversation, you as well. so it's a pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> the way our mics are awesome, set up, man. I've got the, the coming in, so he's just wow. had to listen to yep. me talk. <laughs> well, you'll listen to this later. You'll love it. You'll love it. <laughs> It'll be a pleasure. Uh, my first question. So you're bearded Brandon. I'm mustache Yogi. What would there it, uh, we go. I like it. What would it take to either get uh. you with just a stash or me with a beard? <laughs> <laughs> Somebody once asked me, they said, Brandon, we're going to do a charity auction. I think it was Josh Dorkin for Bigger Pockets. If we raised a million dollars for charity, will you shave your beard? I said, without even hesitating, not a shot. Not a chance. <laughs> I don't care how many... I don't care how many orphans I can save or de desperate mothers who are trapped in poverty. I don't, I'm a horrible person. I can't do it. So you're it's saying it's forever. pretty important then. It's, it's, you know, it's up there. I, I, my Instagram is beardy Brandon. I would have to be like beardless Brandon or like 13 year old girl Brandon. So and that just doesn't work as well. So here's my second story for you. I've known Chandler for a long time. Uh, we've worked together for eight years now. I remember four years ago, we were in Hawaii. I think it was shortly after you'd moved there. And we were on a trip with the leadership from our sales organization. And Chandler had just gotten into YouTubing and he was already investing pretty heavily in real estate. And I think he DM'd you and he told all of us, he was like, guys, I just DM'd this guy, bearded Brandon. <laughs> and he was, oh, I've been Did I ignore it? he was like, uh, psyched about it like hoping to bump into you on the <laughs> but but we all heard bearded dragon so for about a year i referred to you as bearded dragon when i would talk about that's uh, awesome yeah it's cool though i mean that's gonna be my new nickname i'm yeah. taking it or a pet bearded you know dragon. you're a one, one you're two. a huge inspiration to chandler and, and myself and a whole generation oh, of man. hopeful investors so that's that's pretty inspiring um i love it man thank you yeah, thank you. So now on to the, the lightning round. Um, All right. I've heard this game played a few different ways. There's a, <laughs> there's a couple versions. We're going to play the PG version. So the game is kill, okay. date, marry. Uh, you get one of those okay. three options for each of these things. So right. uh, first of all, this is a real estate one. You get residential rental units, eight units or less. You get self-storage or vacation rentals. Kill, date, marry. Kill, date, marry. Okay, same again. It was self, you said uh, residential rentals on the small side. Yeah, yeah. Eight units, four or, units less, or less. Four units or less. Okay. Self storage. And then I'm killing that one, by the way. I'm killing, I'm killing the small one. I'm going to date self storage. I'm going to, no, I'm going to date vacation rentals and I'm going to marry self storage. <laughs> I love it. I okay, like self storage an awful lot. I like <laughs> round it. number two eviction moratoriums, capital gains taxes, or property taxes. Wait, I can kill one of those? Yeah. Well, you got to marry gonna, one. <laughs> I got to marry one. Okay, what are the three again? Eviction, Eviction moratoriums, moratoriums, capital gains taxes, or property taxes. I'm going to kill property taxes because they affect cash flow. And I'm not worried about appreciation, which is capital gains taxes, appreciation. So I'll marry... I'll marry... Uh, Eviction moratorium, because tenants are paying anyway. If you're a good landlord, for the most part, they're they're paying. I'm not worried about that one. And I'll date 
uh, I'll date the other one. Was it capital gains tax? I love it. That's no, awesome. Yeah, wait, yeah, that what it was. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. 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 <laughs> what was the one I said I killed? Three. Yeah. 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 That's it. okay. Got it. I got it. All right. Uh, okay. Good. Last. Last one of these: steak, sushi, or pizza. Oh, I'd kill sushi. I hate it. Uh, <laughs> you live in Hawaii and you hate sushi? I know. I know. I can't do it. I keep trying it. I keep trying it. And every time I'm like, how do people do this? I don't get it. Um, <laughs> you're, you're my kind of man, like, dude, that a, was, That's my answer yeah, as well. Yeah. I don't get it. I grew up I grew up in Minnesota, like the Midwest, and we don't do sushi in the Minnesota. Uh, we do like lutefisk and other <laughs> weird foods that are also strange. Um, all right. So sushi... Definitely. What were the other options? Pizza and steak. Steak. I will yeah. marry pizza. I'll marry pizza all day long and I'll make love to it every day. And <laughs> I will date. <laughs> I'll date steak. Okay. Great answers. I love it. I think uh, I probably would have switched steak and pizza, but we're right there, man. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Next round. Uh, yeah. This or that. So Hawaii or Idaho. <laughs> <laughs> That's a tough one. No, I love Idaho. Are you guys in Idaho? <laughs> yeah, Idaho yeah. Falls. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, I love Idaho. I love, love, love Idaho, but you can't love anything more than Hawaii. So I got to I actually today was trying to talk Chandler things. into a vacation rental in Hawaii. So one and one here they, and there. So. They can work here. I got, I actually, I'm launching this new, this is off topic, but I'm launching this new thing called Month in Maui. The whole idea is like people come for a month and they get a car rental and all this cool stuff. That's why I said I would date the vacation rentals. Because well, I'm, you're, I'm you're doing that, aren't you? Right now. Yeah, yeah. I'm just just starting it right now, so it's awesome. It's a it's a test. Do people want to travel somewhere for a month? We'll find out. <laughs> I think it'll be good. I would go there for a month. Okay. Uh, when investing, <laughs> small towns or big cities? Uh, I would say for small deals, I like small towns. Not like twelve people small towns, but I like smaller towns for small deals and getting started. Uh, for commercial real estate, multifamily, all that, big cities. Love it, perfect. Uh, you kind of already answered this one: bald head or bald face. Hmm. On myself, bald. F I. I. I went bald on my head one time and it was the worst decision I ever made. So I would actually shave the beard before I'd shave <laughs> You wouldn't give yeah. a million dollars to charity. Uh, no, nope. <laughs> I wouldn't, I wouldn't shave my head for $10 million. I wouldn't shave my head for, um, if I can solve world hunger overnight, this hair is not leaving. <laughs> this man has his priorities ironed up. That makes me feel really I bad my, because my hair is on its yeah. way out, man. <laughs> yeah. I will, I will get implants if I ever lose this hair. You do not want to see me in my mismanaged, bit in, of awkward shaped head. Implants are very inexpensive compared to what you just said. So maybe I'm going to have to start considering them. <laughs> I know you might have Turkey. a good looking head. I don't know. I, I do not. My head is not good looking. You guys look at your good looking heads. <laughs> not over here. Okay. Last couple here wrapping up. A uh, nice boat or a fast car? Ooh. I love the idea of a boat, but I get seasick every time I get on them. So I'm going to go fast car. <laughs> I got two Teslas for a reason. I enjoy taking them. They're Respect. quick. You have the and you can go coming? up to 30 miles an hour in Hawaii. Like <laughs> there's nowhere to drive a Tesla fast. <laughs> so we, we go zero to 30 in about three seconds. It's great. But, yeah. You know, we've got open roads in Idaho. And, uh, That's and what I hear. Where you don't get seasick. Uh, uh, I know. I may, I may get there someday. I, I spent a while in Boise a few months ago, and I, I love that. I love just Idaho in general. It's That's amazing. That's awesome. Uh, okay, last two. Social media or real estate investing? So podcasting, YouTube, all those, or real estate investing? That's the hardest question of the day. Oh man. I knew that one would get you. One, <laughs> yeah, one makes the other possible. Um, I would say, oh man, oh that's tough. <laughs> I would probably say social media, I would keep. I would take that and here's, I'll tell you why. There are a lot of ways to become wealthy in this world. Uh, from real estate's a great one, and I think the best one, but there's also business and there's also a lot of other things. But social media and having a brand in general, just having a personal brand makes everything else you do easier. And so if I get rid of social media, get rid of the personal brand, everything is harder and everything then is kind of a, a crapshoot on if it's gonna work out or not. But when you have a strong personal brand, you can do whatever you want. And it's probably gonna be successful. Hence The Rock selling tequila and George Clooney doing gin and Kylie Jenner becoming a billionaire off of makeup. It doesn't matter. Kylie, Kylie, Jenner, Kylie Jenner could have sold 
couches and she would have been a billionaire from couches or, you know, it doesn't matter. That personal brand you can apply to almost any situation and you can make money. Wow. That's why I got, uh, watch this commercial right here, ready? That's why I'm launching Beardy <laughs> Brew Coffee right there. The only coffee with a real piece of beard hair in every cup. <laughs> that was a pretty good ad. That was great. Get him on our yeah. show. Right? There you awesome. go. Yes. <laughs> that is awesome. That has made me question yeah. my life though, because my social media is there my third priority. So mm, I, yeah. I actually well, you guessed got, I mean, that was yeah. going to be your answer. And you yeah, I, have started to make you I've real started in that direction. But what yeah. were you going to say? Yeah, you see that? Yeah. Well, just that, so yeah, when you have that personal brand, I mean, geez, like, so here, here's the genius I learned from Josh Dorkin, Bigger Pockets founder of uh, Bigger, you know, guy who founded Bigger Pockets. For a decade, he literally worked on Bigger Pockets making no money. Like, he didn't, like, they had a donation button. They didn't even have a membership at the time, they didn't have anything. He just built this, like, awesome forum and blog and made no money. And all everyone said he was stupid and that he should be selling these big, expensive co coaching programs and all that. And he could make millions. That's what everyone said. Like you could make millions. There were VC companies and private equity that was like calling him an idiot for building this. And he just kept building and kept building and not monetizing, just kept building. Because what Josh realized is that when you have the like, when you have the knowledge, the favor and the trust of millions and millions of people, you can do anything you want. It doesn't matter. So many businesses start with a good product or they start monetizing or trying to make money right away, but they lack the most important thing and that is the customer. They lack the trust. And so today, all these companies now are coming to bigger pockets going, hey, you wanna partner with us? Because you got, you got the customers, you got the trust. And Josh did that perfectly, which is also why I don't sell, I don't per, personally, I don't have any like really big like coaching programs or anything like that yet. Maybe someday I'll get into that world. But right now I want a hundred million people to know the name Beardy Brandon so that no matter what I do in life, I can, I can win. That's the dif difference between being a millionaire and being a billionaire. I really believe that, which is why I think Josh Dorkin will be a billionaire and why I think I've got a shot at it someday because it's the long game. It's like a bowl of Lucky Charm cereal. It's eating your marshmallows at the end instead of at the same time. So that's what social media does for you. And if that doesn't convince you to take your social media more seriously, then nothing will. <laughs> Amen. I'm all in. <laughs> well, Brandon, this has been absolutely incredible. Seriously, it's one of those. Uh, well, thanks, man. One of those experiences that has been awesome, and I really hope I get to do it again with you soon. So um, I'm going to make it happen. Thanks, I'm going to get out there to Hawaii for that event. And so we could talk about yeah, that. Yeah, come more. to the event. And even if you don't go to the event, at least come hang out and we'll, we'll go get coffee or we'll get some Beardy Brew coffee. Some, <laughs> uh, I don't know. We'll, I go to, we'll go to Monkey Pod. That's that's the actual, the great restaurant on get Island. Get some Hulu oh, pies. That, that's yeah, my they, oh, kryptonite yes. out there, man. I eat like two Hulu yeah, pies so a good. day when I'm in Hawaii. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, those are delicious. Mm, they really so are. Well, um, what oh, all, yeah. I know you've got your fund that people can go and check out. I'm going to put links for all of it, but your real estate fund, you've sure. got your books, you've got your new books that are coming out that we should have talked about more because that is going to be awesome. I'm That's super right. pumped about that. Um, and then obviously bigger pockets, where else, or what other links should I put down there? <laughs> Yeah, uh, no, I mean, odcfund.com is the fund if people wanna invest with me. Um, the books are The Multifamily Millionaire, volume one and two. The difference being volume one is about small multifamily deals, like getting started, that kind of stuff. Volume two is like, actually like, so Chandler, for you, volume two, I mean, you can read both of them, but volume two is like, you've already got some multifamily, you've already got some single family, you know this game, how do you scale that into a big business? So that's what one and two are. Um, and then Instagram, Beardy Brandon. I'm like a 13 year old girl with a beard on Instagram. So I'm, I'm very, very active there. It's great. Awesome. Well, I'm going to make sure we're, we're going to do, we'll probably break this up into a, a bunch of different videos, but I'm also going to do a review of cool, your man. book because I'm pumped about that. Oh, thanks, um, man. And, and so that'll be on the channel and I'm excited to get to know you better. It's funny. There are lots of my friends that you have communicated with. I know Ryan Pineda, um, meet Kevin, yeah. Graham Stephan, that whole yeah. crew of guys. And so I've really been looking forward to this opportunity. So thank you so much for making it happen. Awesome. All right. Appreciate it, man. I hey. really, really, really do appreciate it. Thank you. Good You're the man. You, man. It was thanks a pleasure. For, uh, thanks. thanks for the inspiration too. Thanks guys. Have Take a good care. one, Brendan. All right, guys. Thanks so much for watching. All that we ask you to do is uh, follow 
uh, Bearded Brandon on Instagram, buy his books, <laughs> and invest in his fund. It'd probably be sufficient. And make sure you remember to <laughs> smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, and hit the little bell. We'll put all of Brandon's links below. And honestly, Brandon is one of those mentors that I've never met until today, but his information, his content, all of that has altered my life for the good. And seriously, his Instagram is absolutely incredible. Every day I watch it to get a little hype, so make sure you go and follow him. And thanks so much for watching.